Okay, using Photoshop, we are going to take a phone booth that will be found in the streets of London. And we're going to change its size, change its color, just make some use some editing features that are in the Photoshop. So right now I'm going to click on File, Open. I'm going to go to our folders, GR325, Your Classroom, Photoshop, and into the phone booth folder there should be a phone booth original file that looks like this click on open okay and here's your telephone booth from the streets of London okay so if you click on image and image size you'll be able to see that it's currently the width of an A4 sheet of paper and the height of an A4 sheet of paper okay so these width and height are set just right so that when you print it to your paper in the printer it'll print a perfect size click OK so here we have our original phone booth and what we're going to do right away is use the quick selection tool which is located right here. So quick selection tool. We're going to choose it. And remember we can use our editor up here to increase the size of our tool if we want to or we could use the left and right click on our our left bracket and our right bracket on our keyboard beside the letter P left and right. So what we want to do now is use the quick selection tool to select the telephone booth. So as I select it, you'll notice that it's picked up some of the background here. So what I'm going to do is fix that straight away so I don't forget it. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard. and I'm going to roll in with my mouse, zooming in so I get a better view of this so I can fix it. Right now our quick selection is on the plus, so we want to change it to minus because we want to remove it subtract it from the selection and there we go so we're going to zoom back out switch back to the plus and keep selecting the phone booth zoom out a little further there we go it's picked up the entire booth except for right here and now on top it's picked up a little bit more and over here it's picked up some exterior that we do not want for the most part the quick selection tool is quite smart and understands what exactly you want Okay, so right now our phone boot is selected. What we want to do here is make a, a carbon copy of what we've selected. We want to keep this picture the same, the original picture the same, but just make a copy of the phone boot. So we've often used copy and paste. We're actually going to use that again today. So we're going to click on edit, copy, and then edit, paste. And you'll notice over here on the right hand corner it has created a new layer layer one okay so what I'm going to do right now is turn off the background layer and you'll see that this is the new copy that we made just by using the edit copy and edit paste onto a new layer okay before we go any further I'm going to click on background and I'm going to label this layer one and label the new layer to layer 2. So you gotta hover your mouse right on it. There we go. Layer 2 and layer 1. Now that we have layer 2, I'll show you if we use the move tool, we have a carbon copy of our phone booth. Okay? So we've renamed it and we have two phone booths. Next, we're going to click on 
uh, image and, and then adjustments because we're going to change the color so if we click on image up on the top here adjustments because we want to adjust this let's click on hue saturation and if you like you can mess around with your toolbar here to find out what color you want to adjust your phone booth to or if you're like me and you have a an idea in mind we're going to type in negative one four eight and say okay now we've got a blue telephone booth and we're going to basically place it further down the street down here okay I want to place it in this area roughly to do that I'm going to need to decrease its width and height if I hold down the shift key and then click on the top left corner of my box here it'll decrease the height and width proportionally so that it doesn't look too wide or too thin it'll look very suitable for where we're going to place it on the street so if I move it okay it needs to be moved made a little smaller so that we can fit it down the street and again I'm going to decrease it in size again place it down the street there going to make it a little smaller place it between the two telephone poles or the, the two poles one is a telephone pole one is a street sign place them between those two poles and behind the tree now because we've edited the size of the boot you're going to need to hit the enter key on your keyboard before it'll allow you to make any other changes so if you click enter okay which I just did we have made a change so not so bad so far what we're going to do now is make another copy of the phone boost because we're going to place another one here and it's gonna look like we have a street lined with phone boots okay what we're going to do for this step is we're going to duplicate layer 2 to do that duplicate means make a copy of this okay so right click on layer 2 and you're looking for duplicate layer click on it and let's change it from layer 2 copy to layer 3 say OK and automatically you have a new layer over here layer 3 let's click and drag it so we can see it little miniature version of the foam boots that we've created okay so what we're going to do is resize this and also adjust the color we want this one to be placed roughly with its base along the, the edge of the three line here so I'm going to hold down shift key and increase the size place it a little further down the street And once I've changed the size, I need to press enter before it'll allow me to do any other changes. Now I want to change the color. So if you can remember, when I want to adjust the color, I'll be clicking on image, then adjustments. And I'm hitting hue saturation. Again, you can choose a different color if you want to, but I'm going to go with a number that I have in mind and say okay and there is our phone boot okay so now we have three different layers of the phone boot and you can see using again the quick selection tool mainly how powerful that is and the changes you can make in editing a regular photo lastly we're just gonna mark our names on it so what I want to do here is use the typing tool And we're going to type our names before you do that make sure you change your font color to white your text point to 60 and somewhere center in the page I want you to click on it and type in your name okay as these will be going on display in the school so if I want to center that I can just click on my move tool 
move it to the center of the image. Use the guide on the top to help me center it. Okay, and that's it. There we have it. We didn't take too long. We have now have three telephone boots, different colors. Feel free to adjust the colors to whatever you want it to look like, but you can also use these colors as will be provided in the handout. Thank you.